and welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Berlin Nostrana. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video, you will be the first person to be notified. And to my returning subscribers, to those people that share my videos and also educate I, you guys are the real MVP. All right, lovelies, let's dive in today's video. So lovelies, I came across this video on my For You page on TikTok and I thought to share with you guys where this bank color one is actually out. We talk about how hot men is not a son don't know. And this actually got people making their own research and proving her wrong with a lot of lot, you know, historical research and at the present. I'm just going to roll the clip as well as some of other stitches I was able to put together. Please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. Please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We are just here for education and informative purposes. Alright lovelies, let's dive into it. So I hear there's a lot of rumors going around about Coleman, Alabama being a sundown uh, city. Well, I just want to tell you that um, here at Steen's Farmhouse, which is where I am in Coleman, Alabama, that's the furthest thing from the truth ever. As a matter of fact, I, I teach kids and adults about not discriminating against people that don't think like them, that don't speak like them, that it's not the same color as them, nor raised like them that's what i teach her at steen's farmhouse now i cannot speak i know i have lived here for six years i've never seen that ever i'm not from coleman i know that it has a bad reputation but personally i've not seen that and i will tell you that if you come to my farm here in coleman alabama i welcome you all i don't care what you look like i don't care what you believe i don't care what your faults are i don't care Come on, come to Sneeze Farmhouse. No, thank you, lady. I'm good. I'm good right here where I am. Mm -hmm. See, I know a little something about sundown towns. The, the town where I grew up here in Maryland was a sundown town. So, um, yeah. And one way you can kind of tell that someone is not being honest when they start off like this and then the more they talk, they kind of go like this. Yeah, go back and watch that stitched video and you, you'll see. Uh, lady, I don't trust you. Well, you, you seem like a nice lady. And thank you for the offer of saying to come to your farm. Um, and I know uh, you only been there for six years. And I know the stigma I keep hearing this about come in Alabama is not a sundown town. But I... Thank you for the offer. Um, my car is broke right now, and I'm not going to be able to make it out that far. I'm sorry. <clears throat> maybe next time. Maybe next time I'll make that trip. Yes, that individual claims she's lived there for six years, which is absolutely nothing. Go back and look at that whole entire video, please. Oh, my God, Karen, will you stop? And you're going to be like... Stop what? And I'm going to tell you <clears throat> three things that I would really love to see women who look like me stop doing. Number one, stay with me. Stop talking over black people, which is exactly what you're doing in this video. Two, stop denying the lived experiences of black people. You are not a black person. The sundown status of this town in no way impacts your personal safety. Ever. You look like me. They're not coming for you. Last but not least, please, for the love of all that is holy in this fucking world, stop saying dumb shit like, I don't see color. You have to, if you're going to do the work to dismantle your own internalized racism and fuckery. And um, if you want to sit with us in the future, and when I say us, I mean anti-racist white women, not the white women who um, just, just center themselves and try to dismiss the entire lived experience of what's probably generations of black people in your town that have visited and or been affected. And again, you will never be affected because you are white. Nobody is hanging you from a fucking tree after dark, Karen. And furthermore, it's not a rumor, okay? It's not a rumor. There's literally an interactive map on the interwebs. It's free. 
Mm -hmm. You can go look at it and you'll see that even in California, which is a super blue uber cons like liberal state, we have some conservative pockets. We have suspected sundown towns in California, but I don't come on this app saying they're not sundown towns because I'm not going to argue with the people that are most likely affected by the status of said town and the racists that live there. And then um, it, additionally, uh, I don't know if you maybe missed the video from a gay creator, a gay man who was in Coleman, Alabama, who is from your local area, who stopped in Coleman to get gas. And it was after dark and he relayed the story that when he stopped for gas he went into the station to pay for his gas and the station attendant didn't say anything to him but do you really think you should be here after dark do you really think you should be here so are you also going to tell him he didn't have his experience like basically what you're doing is telling every black person that's had this experience or experience something negative and racist in your town that they're lying or that it's not true and that's bullshit okay I have to think that if this were a different scenario one where you were with another white person you know like me like for example if you and I were out to lunch somewhere with a group of people and you and I were talking about childbirth and I said yeah my recovery from my last c-section was horrible you know and I, I kind of expressed that if a man had chimed in on top of me to talk over me and say it's not really that bad you're just exaggerating that's a rumor you would probably defend me to the core yeah, because you would say, what the fuck do you know about a C-section? So I'm going to ask you, what the fuck do you know about being a black person living in the South and encountering these sundown towns? And the answer is going to be nothing. So do me and the rest of us a favor because you're embarrassing the fuck out of white women everywhere who are anti-racist, who do the work to dismantle our internalized bullshit so that we can move to a place to help equalize society, okay? Do us all a favor, okay? And maybe because I look like you, you'll turn your listening ears on. Stop denying the lived experiences of black people in this country. You do not need to center yourself in the conversation. You don't even need to fucking get involved in the conversation unless it is to support, defend, and be an anti-racist person. Other than that, Karen, not needed. That video that I'm stitching, not needed. Your hot take on something that doesn't affect you, not needed. And when black women tell you to stay the fuck out of their business, See, it's very simple. It's very simple. Just, I'm hoping you can master it, okay? And join the rest of us that do give a fuck about these things. So anyway, um, you have a fabulous weekend. Stop centering yourself. Stop talking over black people. Stop what? Denying their lived experiences and stop saying dumb shit, okay? All right, you... You have fun at your little farmhouse. Your heart. And I know you understand that. Please, if you're from Coleman, Alabama, resist the urge to come on here and defend Coleman as not being a sundown town. It hasn't panned out well for anybody who has tried. You are showcasing over and over again what it is to have 8 by 11 privilege. The mark that you're trying to hit with this point is all the way on the other side of the world right now. Doesn't do research. Invalidate black people who are sitting there saying that Coleman is not a safe place and telling them that they're wrong. As a me colored person. Inviting black people out to go to Coleman to experience it, to show that it's not so bad to prove a point. Burden of proof is on the accuser and you are accusing these black people who are afraid of going there that they are wrong. You want to prove a point? Do your research. Look into these voices that are saying it's unsafe. Look into their experiences and then do further research into that. And no, I'm not going to tell your grown self how to do that. 
you figure that out yourself. Also, I want to say that how the stitch was cut, it made it sound like she just wasn't from Coleman. No, she's been living there for the past six years, which in a way makes this so much worse because she's speaking on this matter as if she's a native from there, that she's just lived there her whole natural life. Go sit back down, honey. So, and before anyone says anything, I'm a Latino immigrant. Yo nací en Panama. I was born in Panama. Llegué en los Estados Unidos en 92. I arrived in the United States in 92. So, like, in before anyone says, well, you look white. No, I'm not. So, watching this video, I originally thought that was maybe just sarcasm. But the more I watched it, the more I realized that maybe it isn't. That maybe it's just going over my head. But the thing is that I've heard plenty of people talk like this before. And maybe you don't mean it this way because I don't want to make assumptions, but like your message is a little problematic because sure, that's great that you have an experience. That's great that you're trying to do what you can to teach people to be better and stuff like that. But that doesn't denounce the fact that doesn't remove the fact that other people have had different experiences, that people have been exposed to that kind of like racism and shit like that in your area or, or anywhere else. And like, while that's great that you're trying to do positive, the fact that you're like, well, it never happened to me is very, very dismissive and problematic of people that have had that happen to them because they still have had that. Two things can ex exist at the same time. It, it, it's DBT, you know, it's, it's the idea that just because one thing exists doesn't mean that the other thing can't. So, like, it doesn't deter or take away from the fact that other people have had bad experiences in Coleman or anywhere else in the United States. So let's do it. Coleman, in Coleman County, in Alabama. The town in Alabama that Southern Living has called the South's cutest Christmas town. But before Southern Living called it the cutest little Christmas town, it was in the Green Book as a sundown town. Real quick, allow me to go over the definition of a sundown town because some people have it incorrect. People are saying that they were all white towns. Um, no, they were overwhelmingly white. There were one or two black people allowed to live in sundown towns. They just understood that they couldn't go out after dark without master's escort service. Now, the government of sundown towns was exclusively white, and they used formal policies and informal practices to discourage black people and other minorities from staying in their town or being caught in their towns after sundown, hence the title. And these included methods such as violence, deliberate and intentional to accomplish such goals. But moving right along. Now back to Coleman, in Coleman County, in Alabama. Y'all talk about sundown cities. The whole state of Alabama qualifies as a sundown state. Then and now, because it's still about keeping their black population under control. I mean, y'all remember George Wallace, right? Former governor of Alabama, one of the longest serving governors in this country's history, saying the following. In the name of the greatest people that have ever trod this earth, I draw the line in the dust and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny, and I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. Now, the conversation you all having about Coleman, history speaks for itself. Coleman is a sundown town in a sundown county in a sundown state. But like so much of white America, it wishes to now whitewash itself by supposedly rebranding itself as the cutest little Christmas town in the South. But see, here's the thing. See, some of y'all are getting caught up in the idea that Coleman is rebranding itself. No, it's not. This is about Coleman reaching back into its past and selectively determining what they want to be known for. 
And of course, in defense of this rebranding, you're going to have white women tears and the gashing of teeth and the occasional rocket raccoon, refer back to my definition of sundown towns, who come out and say, I've lived here all my life and I swear it is not like that anymore. Coleman County in 2020 had a Juneteenth celebration that no black people showed up to, but yet and still protesters showed up to. <laughs> you can't make this up. And maybe I'm the only one that sees the hypocrisy and the hilarity in that hypocrisy of you all arguing with people who are acknowledging they're reaching back into the past to grab something to rebrand their presence with. A past that included all these Christmas celebrations where they had buried the bodies of lynched black people but still gathered in December on top of the graves of those bodies to preach peace and love. And to the white woman, I believe her name is Kylie, running around talking about come to Coleman and I'll escort you around, refer back to my definition of what a sundown town is. Maybe, just maybe, if you truly care about rebranding your sundown town in your sundown county in your sundown state, Instead of reaching into the past and grabbing a celebration that took place on top of the very bodies of beaten and lynched black people, you can acknowledge that past and atone for it. Just a thought. But a thought I don't expect you to do anything, not even pay lip service to. Oh. You're six years there, you haven't experienced anything? Bitch, you could have been living there your entire life and you still wouldn't have experienced it. You want to know why? Because you're not a black person in that town. Oh, that didn't occur to you now, did it? No, it absolutely did not. You privileged, entitled, delusional motherfucker. You need to stop. Sit the fuck down. Shut the fuck up. Now, I would tell you to listen and take notes, but we already know you're not going to do that. But you will sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Don't do this again. Because your sears in that town don't mean a goddamn thing. I busted a nut last night. That is far more important than the six years you spent in that sundown town. Knock it the fuck off. Dear white women, knock it the fuck off. For real. Because y'all gonna wake up one day and the truth gonna smack you motherfuckers in the face in a way it, it has never smacked you before and guess who's not gonna be there to hold your hand yet again hmm hmm like seriously lovely it's the fact that so many of these pan colored you know <laughs> people just comes out to say that I have never witnessed it. I have not seen that before. What are you talking about? I have never experienced, you know, any sort of reincidence in this continent. Like, what are you talking about? Like a pan-colored woman. Have I not seen maybe someone that looks like me that comes out to defend this, you know, claim as well? I have not. And the fact that they keep on saying, you know, we don't see color. We don't know what you're actually talking about. Yeah, like, this is exactly what I have been saying here. Some of these, you know, people that are raising like this actually, you know, close their eyes to reality. Like, they, they start not to see reality, even if they know deep inside of them that stuff like this exists. But they just want to bring a narrative of, I don't see color. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like... I don't know if Ray and Sis is it. You are a pan colored woman. You are a pan colored woman. So, how do you expect to actually witness that? Like, how do you expect to witness it? How do you expect to experience it? 
if you're a pink colored person like seriously i don't understand this is actually the second pink colored person that comes out to give her own you know judgments like she has not experienced what you guys are talking about like i don't get what you guys are talking i actually posted a video of a pink colored man he's all with blue eyes and all of that you know coming out to also say that oh what are you guys saying i have been living here my life i have not experienced any form of racism or any form of discrimination this don't tell you guys are talking about we don't know what you're doing and someone else a pan color person was like what are you saying why are you lying to these people why are you trying to make them think as if or make them feel as if they don't know what they are saying like they will try as much as they can to make you feel that you don't know what you're talking about like you are the problem like we are not the problem we never see color you guys are always um you know you are, you are always you have this victim mentality and all of that but they know deep inside of them that whatsoever someone that looks like me have to say about a certain town this person is certain because if not them having the experience they have they have actually seen or maybe know someone who had such experience you are not a minority you are not a pan, a black person or maybe a colored person or something but you are all out here you know trying to like i have never seen this how would you see that it's they said that it's a town filled with pan colored people so i don't know how you're going to experience that if you are if you are a pan colored person if you guys don't know it's this you know incident all started or because of this a video by this couple who happens to i think they live in this um continent and uh, it's all christmas decorations and they were like inviting people and inviting both you know black people and all of that to come over for um maybe some christmas uh, celebrations take pictures with all of the decorations that was so beautiful and uh, some people were like this place is actually a sound and town so if you're inviting people that means who are you really inviting if you're inviting a, a black person that means this black person is not expected to be there when the sun is down when the sun is down like as we all know sound and town it's a, a, a city or a town that um someone that looks like me is not expected to be there when the suns are down like when it's dark you just have to leave the place before it gets dark because anything you see you are just left to be blamed there's even a video that i've been trending which i wanted to stitch here but because of there's some little kid that was involved i don't really like putting anything that has to do with kids or you know here and this mother was crying out she shared an, her experience of Cotman. She, I think she went there for a whatsoever with her, you know, kid. And uh, this black person who happens to be a pan colored person was supposed to drop her somewhere. And this person had to drop her 30 minutes after the, the, the location that he was supposed to drop her. And this lady has to start making live videos and, you know, praying and asking people, you know, to know to tell people to know her whereabouts and all of that this is what we are talking about it takes someone that looks like me to actually come out maybe so many of them to come out to tell you that oh no this is no that is why you know that people will okay okay maybe it's not it used to be that way before but maybe it is not that way anymore not a pan colored person you are all you know and uh, you expect to feel regencies like <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand like she, she herself she knows that people who experience regencies discrimination or whatsoever are people that look like them but the way I, I switch most of these pan color people are coming out is oh i have never experienced it. i see with something that is general you will not experience it because of whom you are because of you you are not you know and i like the fact that 
her own people had to come out to speak her up to like put her in a place like explain things to her even if she's claiming otherwise even if she feels that okay i don't know what you guys are she know exactly what everyone is talking about but the fact that they often use this i don't see color of a thing to think that they want to deceive people but they they know deep inside of them what everyone is trying to tell them but these are the kind of people that i don't see race i don't but it like someone like this right now might actually be racist towards somebody like that looks like me and when you call that racist out you see her trying to turn it to a reverse racism this is people like this they don't be the one to you know but they wouldn't want you to call it out and that's why you see them coming out to cry the white women tears yeah, they people like this they'll tell you oh i don't know what you're talking about she not deep inside of her that she's just being dramatic like she's just lying to herself the fact that you do not experience it does not mean that other people does not or would not or they don't know who has yeah pan color person that you're not even expected to respect like i have never ever seen a pan color person being raised towards a pan color person i have not because they feel that they rule the world like seriously it's high time everyone to just stop you know deceiving themselves and call it spade is paid and there's no need of all all this pretend and trying to like i don't see like when we don't keep telling ourselves the truth i don't think that this the system will work you know it's actually best to cut out a spade and uh, expect the system to work because if you keep on hiding the truth how do you expect things to work out seriously love this anyways when i saw this i thought that i'm just going to you know and shout out to our favorite brother to, um who decided to explain the historical you know relationship with the Cartman's town or city or whatsoever you know anyway lovelies let me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment we're just here for education and informative purposes so please if you don't subscribe to this channel or to this extent please subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section and i will see you lovelies when i upload the next one to this extent thank you so much for all the love and support don't forget to please subscribe to this channel share this video leave a thought in the comment section and i will see you lovelies when i upload the next one